What is up everyone, Sean here, and today for one of my very first top whatever videos for this channel, at least for a while anyway, we're going to be covering my personal list of anime slash manga franchises that should get a fighting game entry made by yours truly, Arc Systems, the creator is well known by fans for the Guilty Gear series. After Dragon Ball Fighters being officially announced, it inspired me to make a video like this, and I thought I would tell you guys what other Japanese franchises besides the Dragon Ball series I'll love to see in this style of fighting game. Now starting off with number 10, My Hero Academia. One of the newest rising stars in the latest Shonen Jump lineup, its vigorous action scenes, vibrant aesthetics, and comic book-like atmosphere would only be further complemented by Ark's cell shading style. Even where it currently stands, it already has enough characters to create a hearty roster to start out with full of lovable fighters that would have great looking supers and everything else to witness. Fun gimmicks are plenty to go around thanks to characters with each of their own quirks, which would make this game one of the suitable choices to go with after Dragon Ball. Number 9, Fairy Tale. Despite its obvious shortcomings, having this being made by Arxis would be fun to play. Its soundtrack would complement its high energy ambiance, and Fairy Tale offers plenty of characters diverse enough to make an interesting roster with a good amount of characters to choose from. Other characters would make interesting assist characters if they ever plan to incorporate that mechanic. They can always add even more characters via DLC. Number 8, Sailor Moon. This legendary Magical Girl series will go great with the animation style done by Arxis, especially if they incorporate their transformations as character intros somehow. Not only that, but seeing their super moves fully animated in that cell shaded style is something I would love to see. And you can't go wrong on its fan service, right? Number 7, Helsing. The theme and concept from the franchise would make it a great dark entry as an Arxis fighting game, and this would be perfect as one of its only video game titles. Its cast of characters does have, for the most part, unique playstyles, so the creators can have fun working on Helsing. I would love to see what they do with the stages and the music, and of course, Father Anderson. Because of his theme, it would definitely give off that awesome Darkstalkers vibe. And also, just for a little fact, Soul Bad Guy has the same Japanese VA, Joji Nakata, as Alucard for both the OVA and the anime series. Number 6, Yu-Gi-Oh! One of the strangest choices on this list, I know, but seeing the monsters fight Guilty Gear style would be radical. They can incorporate the duelists as shoutcasters or characters who shout random lines during the fight to support and cheer their allies during the fight, and they can include quotes from the show from various seasons, a feature that's been done in niche anime fighting games. Perhaps each duelist can give off a different enhancing effect, such as more health, damage, armor, or even traps. Just for the excuse of shouting, I activate my traffic card. Number 5 on this list is a tie between Shaman King and Jojo's Bizarre Adventure series. Because of the basic similarities, users fighting with spirits of some kind, I put them both on this spot. Of course, their story and themes are quite different. Although I believe Shaman King took some notes from Jojo's and made it their own as Shaman King author, Hiroyuki Take, stated in an interview that Jojo's was a part of his inspirations and influences. Nonetheless, the format would be overall similar. I can imagine some sort of meter for the stands and spirits to make things a little different from the other anime entries. Number 4 is also a tie between Kill a Kill, Gurren Lagann, or any other Trigger and Gainax animes. These animes have been known for its crazy moments, high octane action, and dynamic facial expressions that would translate very very well for a fighting game. It would be another fun time watching every super move intro and outro. Now it would be even better if these enemies crossed over and become one game. Finally seeing Ryuko and Kamina interact and fight each other on the same screen with that Arxis zest. Number 3, Yu Yu Hakusho. Another classic series that deserves the time of becoming an arc fighting game, they can take a basic route of gameplay or perhaps work on unique mechanics surrounding spirit energy. Either way, this offers a robust range of characters for the devs to have them do entertaining combos. It would definitely be fun to hear the characters again in either Japanese or English for old time's sake. Hopefully they will include that option in there. Now we're definitely getting really close with number 2, Fist of the North Star or Hokuto no Ken. Although it has a fighting game already in existence published by SEGA that follows the genre of anime fighting games, it had its own unique mechanics such as the 7 stars. Once your opponent's Death Star appears, you have a chance to perform an insta-kill move, all presented with those charming 2D sprites. But having this gaining the 2.5D Arxist makeover would complement this very much, especially during those close-ups. Whether they keep its violent nature or not, the game would still offer a lot of fun with just enough characters and ideas for insta-kill moves to make it another sick Arxis fighting game. Now for one honorable mention, featuring a franchise that either people love or absolutely hate, and that's Sword Art Online. Nah, I'm just kidding, I got one more honorable mention, and that's a series that a lot more people love from my experience, and that is One Punch Man. And here we go with number one on the list here, and that is, of course, One Piece. 
my absolute personal favorite anime and manga series of all time, this is one of my dream games for Arxis to tackle. Just like Dragon Ball, this received many games including Arena Fighters with Burning Blood being its most recent one. It would only make sense for this to happen since this is Jump's biggest series besides the Dragon Ball series. One Piece definitely offers plenty of diverse, colorful, wild characters for the devs to play around with to create a crazy, fun, and unique anime fighting game. And maybe perhaps they'll even throw in that 3v3 mechanic just like they did with Dragon Ball Fighters. However, it would be difficult to create a roster that would please most of its fans because there's just so many characters from that series that would be great as fighting game characters. But having a One Piece Arxis fighting game would nonetheless get people hyped as much as Dragon Ball Fighter Z. So that is it for my top 10 animes that should become Arxis fighting games. Now if you have your own personal top 10 animes that should become these kind of fighting games, leave me down below in the comment section and I'd love to check them out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell of course to be updated with more videos like these. This has been the top 10 animes that should become Arxis fighting games. Hope you guys enjoyed it, thank you guys so much for tuning in, I'll see you guys in the next video. Sean out.